Welcome to the stream today, everybody. Gnarly Duck here. Got a cool, like I mentioned, on the Writers Republic Discord, there is an events creations channel. Heisenberg. Heisenberg wrote, Hey, writers, who is ready for a four part, 20 minute long bike trip? Mind blown. Emote. Here are some features of the four complementary parts climbing of the road obstacles. Steep climb, snake-shaped trails, narrow checkpoints, not much shortcuts. <clears throat> Part 1, Climb Simulator, about 5 minutes 8 seconds. From Yosemite Valley to parking of Mammoth's Main Lodge through the fissures and by road bike. Part 2, Climb Simulator, 6 minutes 23 seconds, trail from the Main Lodge parking lot of Mammoth's top to the Hemlock. Part three, man vs. mud, four minutes. It's uh, part one and two, but downwards. And then part four, man vs. mud, four minutes, 18 seconds. Trail from Mammoth Main Lodge to West Yosemite Springs through the Cathedral Rocks. Total time is just under 20 minutes. He said, here are the codes of each part. Don't hesitate to share your times and total time for the most motivated ones. I hope you'll have some fun on this. Last updated personal times, 15, 5, 24. So yes, this was posted there, and um, I really like it when people do these event codes. So this one looked like a really fun journey, and I feel like going on a fun journey today. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get on with some fun journey time here we go we're gonna go to the lab we're gonna enter the first code tvc the b23 climb simulator turtleberg on xbox here we go So I don't see my um, boost meter, so I'm just going to have to go with the feel of things. I also have my sound muted on my laptop here. But here we go. So far, so cool. I like the scenery here of uh, the snow and landscape shrubs and stuff still, still there so here's we've got an upward climb i'm gonna not boost <clears throat> until it seems like i have to because i know a lot of these places that are really steep you have to have boost and if you don't have boost you are gonna be walking up so we'll uh we'll work our little hammies here on this here we'll not let this guy catch up to us quite we'll just uh oh here's these obstacles he had mentioned oh no uh oh so yeah usually i race in first person view <clears throat> oh wow you can't see your handlebars in first person view on uh on this interesting okay no worries Go back to third person and try to... See if I can make way here. I don't think I have any boost anymore. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm still on the bike. And I haven't gone into the snow. Both? Are uh, still not quite ideal, but you know what? For our first time, I feel like you know we're gonna be doing pretty good here. This is definitely something completely different of a custom that we're used to here. <clears throat> Normally, I'd say 90% uh, of the customs that you play out there are um, fixated on speed or. Uh, doing some kind of trick line 
And so this is kind of more of an endurance type race, which, you know, I think a lot of people seek out. Me personally, I do. And yeah, I kind of like this. This is great. This is like the uphill challenge of the obstacles is definitely different. Yep, here we go. We're coming up some really steep stuff. Let me lower my volume. It's a bit high here. <clears throat> there we go. Oh! So yeah, I'm not even sure where his character is, but I don't even see him anymore. We'll have to take this one as loss. I'm assuming he probably did a pretty good run. Oh yeah, he said he updated his personal time, so yeah. So he's had, obviously, many runs more than us. But if you can get through this as we are without falling or anything. Uh oh, we got a lot of obstacles here. <clears throat> Uphill turn. I assume that's the finish. That's right, you said the finish is going to be at the parking lot, right? The parking lot, I think, is straight ahead over here after this turn. Oh no. Oh man, I think we got ways to go. <laughs> I also can't see my boost meter. So I'm just going to start boosting more than I think I should. Whoa, oh no, here we go, we got Squirrely. Oh, I do know we're coming up to the top of it. I do know, because this is a pretty steep area here. Yo, what's going on there? Uh, trying to read your name and play at the same time. Is that Kirby Happy? Is that what that is? Kirby Happy? And then some numbers, 1881. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're playing a custom that we have found. It's a set of customs, actually, so it's going to be about a 20-minute ride we're doing here. It's a string. We're on an adventure. I don't remember if they had a direct name, but uh, it was from the Discord. And let's see here. Uh, can you join? <clears throat> can you join my stream if you have time? Uh, I don't have time right now. I am uh, I'm working on playing a set of of custom challenges here, and it's going to be about twenty minutes or so. Maybe after, maybe after. But these are the set of challenges I'm doing right now. Alright, so I'm going to like that. I'm going to add it to favorites. That was pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, so now we're going to do the next one, which should continue. It should continue the journey of, of that one from the parking lot. So we'll be starting from the parking lot this time. So JT double X 7D is this one here. And uh, there we go. So Climb Simulator Part 2 starts at Mammoth. We'll go ahead and start the race now. Downhill Bikes. So now we should be, if I recall, starting from that parking lot. So yeah, the parking lot should be from our... Oh, oh, okay, hold on. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention. Do I play Descenders? No, I do not. I used to. And uh, I just frankly don't have time or uh, care for it, to be honest with you. Riders has pl plenty that I need. There was a few things from Descenders that I liked, kind of like uh, more of the community-based maps and stuff, but we have custom tracks now or like kind of like what I'm doing right now this is a player made track
Man, I thought Wise used to be able to see the handlebars in first person, but uh, I guess they must have changed that. Or even the tire. <clears throat> oh, your opinion, my opinion on it, if you should get it? I mean, if you have Riders Republic and you don't have Descenders and you're just curious about it, I mean, it's definitely different. I, f I would watch some YouTube videos on it because... I would say if you're on console, I would say I probably wouldn't bother. If you're on a computer, it would be, if you're looking for something a little bit more fast paced, I should say. Oh, okay, so he actually fought to get up there. Okay, so he fought, okay. So he fought it like in real life to actually get up here. Okay, okay, we gotcha, we gotcha, bro, we gotcha, okay. All right, so yeah, he said this is going to be the challenge of the of the actual race would be this part here. Okay, so we got it. And we're actually keeping up with him, which that's actually a good thing. Let's see where he uses his boost. He might have used his boost already. I don't, can't tell. I'm real close to this guy. But yeah, the senders is a little bit different pace. Um... I really don't know what to compare it to. I feel like the sem if you ever played Steep, Descenders is almost a kind of like, feels like that as far as like landing tricks and stuff. Feels like it's a little less forgiving than what Riders Republic is. And I know if you're on computers, you have a lot better modded community around it. And so that's a cool aspect around it. But Riders Republic, as far as customs go, is like what I'm playing now. Someone just, like, I got a bunch of uh, <clears throat> custom courses that I make too. And they're just like, if a developer in the game was to make one, except I made it. It's the best way I could really put it. <laughs> How do you get into those customs? Uh, so you get into these customs through the main menu. It's, and then the main menu is going to have a tab called Lab, L-A-B. And uh, on the Lab, you can either use the Lab browser and kind of like find whatever kind of race or trick event you want to play. Because you could play, you could even play things like, like sometimes, uh, sometimes people aren't sure if they want to buy a DLC. Well, the trick to it is you go to Customs. And in customs, you can pick, uh, like, a sport from a DLC you don't have. And then you can kind of, like, test the waters that way. Yo, what's going on, uh, Wandering Rocks? I'm playing a set of events that was put, posted up on the events channel in Riders Republic. And it's supposed to be a 20 minute adventure, uh, four different races for 20 minutes. Have you, have you done this one yet? I forget the person's name. <clears throat> and I'm unsure if it shows up in the chat, what I wrote earlier in the chat. But anyway, I am pretty sure you're in the Riders Republic Discord by Ubisoft. So yeah, I'm a bit far behind the, the creator on the track here, but I'm still making my way up. This is an uphill battle of a challenge here. Yo, Heisenberg's, that's the guy's name. Heisenberg is the guy that posted up this challenge. And uh, I'm trying to do it all in one shot. So this is part two, which is uh, the climb, the second climb. Heisenberg's journey, yes, not yet, yeah, okay, so this is basically it right now. This is, uh, you know, boost management. I also have no HUD on, if you've noticed, so I can't actually see my my boost, and I don't have feedback sound. I should turn the monitor on for the Elgato so I could hear it, but I don't have sound from the game, so I can't really tell when I'm actually boosting or not. But I'm just filling it out, making it kind of like a somewhat of an RPG, but not quite, you know? 
getting through the journey. Heisenberg's journey. <laughs> what a cool name. Ugh, oh, the snow is slugging me though. I was actually going to suggest it to you. Awesome, yeah, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. Alright, here we go. We got some downhill action. Let's go back to first person. I think they, like, updated first person view because I feel like it's less action and more just screen. What I mean is, like, not much action on looking at the bike parts. Anyway, the back half is supposed to be all downhill. Awesome. Yeah, I would like to see this. Uh, I'll try to connect the dots. I'll try to connect the dots uh, on a map view and see like what that looks like. And yes, welcome Hectic Skeptic. And uh, I don't know, I, I think I might throw a, a mass race in after this, and then um, I just got I just got a meta 3, and I'm in love with this game called Super Hot. So I'm going to test stream Super Hot. So yeah, it looks like we just got brushed under about 20 seconds behind on that, so that's pretty cool. See, I would like to see you guys, all you fast racers out there, see your fastest time on, on this journey. This is so cool. So yeah, I'm going to like and add the favorites here so we can play that later. The next one on the list here, I'm going to write it out again because I don't want to keep scrolling up, is going to be 8FRZVX. Alright, so I said it was going to be 8FRZVX. Oops. All right, Turtleberg, 1503 on Xbox. There we go. We're back in Mammoth, and apparently this is Downhill, part one. Part three, rather. Part one of the Downhill part. <laughs> I'm going to head it up in first-person view, see what we got going on here. Oh, all right. <laughs> He's trying to hit up uh, <laughs> the front wheel action there. Oh, I when I had the chance, I should have turned on the monitor for the streaming software so I can actually hear the sound. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot more streamers now we got going on here for Riders Republic. Oh my goodness. Does it matter? It does matter. I need to get over here and get this gate. Oh wow. I'm trying to stay on stay on the bike. I'm trying to stay on the bike. I'm not trying to backtrack. They should give us the option to turn off backtrack. What do you guys think? You you only get the option to uh to restart for customs. Or maybe if you set it to hard. Oh, that's what it should be. If you set it to the extra difficulty, they should turn off the... Um, I'm so off course here. They should turn off the backtrack. Yeah, exactly. Just like in leaderboard mode. Yeah, I think if you have that set up on... You know what? Yeah, that should be a good suggestion is... Is when it's set... To, oh my god, we just dropped... Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, wrecked. All right. I just broke a couple ribs there for reals. Here we come. I'll try to stay on course here. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be staying on track here because it's supposed to be like a real-life situation journey. Yoink. He must be gone, by the way. He must be, like, super down the mountain already. I'm betting he's like finished 40 seconds ahead of us on this. Uh oh, what happened here? Wait, 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 what happened? What happened? Oh no. Alright, let's retry that. I have to at least finish it. 
Like it as an option, but not all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh. Getting off the track here again. Let's see if it can manage third person here. Ski. All right, so he did jump down this way. Alright, but he stayed on track over here. And then now I just can't see him anymore. He's just gone. He's got to be like eight seconds ahead for sure. Whoa! Alright, we got it. I'm back. Yo, what's up? Welcome back, Kirby. Thank you for subscribing. Or following him. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta, I gotta keep those two separated. Subscribing and follows. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. You say put a stick in his back spokes? Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, terrible for him. I mean. <laughs> Not on you suggesting that, not at all. <laughs> I think this is where we started going wrong here. All right. So yeah, it said, I'm back and Rox has dad jokes. Oh my God, I just fell. Oh, I saw him down there. I saw him down there. Okay, hold on. So, oh okay, yeah, there's no way we're catching up. He's way gone. And like he said, he's updated his his times on the and Here we go, coming back up. Too fast for the track. I, I, he, when he wrote that the checkpoints were going to be small, I, I was expecting them to be, like, even smaller than this. Huh? Oh, trying to stay on track. Oh, will I be able to replay all four parts in replay mode, like, without having to, like, uh, do anything and just watch it like a real movie? That'd be lit. That would be fantastico. Yeah, what is the replay mode time limit? Does anyone know what the replay mode time limit is? Isn't that how that works? There's like different lanes of, like I don't know what the parameters of the replay mode are. I haven't played around enough with it yet, you guys. I'm out of the loop. All right, I feel like they're getting a little smaller here. It feels like a single track. All right, we're in the parking lot. Is it end here or does it keep going? Time to beat four minutes, three seconds. This is the end here. We made it. I didn't know. It restarts when you wreck at least. Ah. How about if you jump off your bike like we just did? I guess there's only one way to find out. $4,000. Holla. Alright guys, this is going to be the last part like add the favorites make sure you guys do that as well
H M M eight E Y <laughs> matey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Part two of the downhill section. So four minutes, 18 seconds is time to beat. Let's see how close we can get. All right, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that's what was gonna happen. Of course it was what's happened. Jumped off the side. I wonder how fast we're going. 40? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, holy moly. Wee. Oops, jumping into the snow. Bit much there. Try to stay in this mud a little bit better, this dirt. So I see him just ahead, so I'm feeling good about time right now. I'm not necessarily trying to beat time, I'm just trying to beat the track. And one shot as much as I can. I only had to restart once. Oh, we got this uphill battle again he was talking about. I'll go ahead and third person for this situation here. Climbing, 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 climbing. Get those legs in motion. Just like what's gonna happen when we get on super high. Oh man, we are gonna burn our legs up. We're gonna try to pretty much put on the headset, jump into casting mode and uh, switch over the stream for that. And then um, whenever the headset dies is when the headset dies. I'm assuming when I'm in casting mode, it's going to burn up a little bit more battery than usual. So, maybe I can get a good 45 minutes out of it. It would be pretty sweet. Yo, what's up? Welcome back. Once more, Kirby. I never knew that you left. It would be nice if you would let us know the next time you leave that you're thinking about coming back. <laughs> yeah. We are uh, still trying to keep up with this... Uh, other part of the custom here. And then, uh, let's see, it's uh, 6.35. So yeah, we'll get led up into a mass race. Super hot is the one. Hold on, I got a downhill section coming up. Holy moly, let's do this. Holy crap. Superman off this. Uh oh. Uh oh, is this a wreck or a land? Oh, it's a wreck. Super hot is the one where the game only moves when you move. Yeah, dude, it is so freaking sick. I basically couldn't stop playing it every time I went to my friend's house that I just bought my own uh, headset in, in game. Literally, that's the only reason why I have it. Can we play Super Hot together? I don't know if Super Hot has a um, co op component to it, does it? I don't think it does. Although, uh, 
there would be definitely a ton of opportunity if they did. It is got, dude. So hold on, check this out. Wandering Rocks, Super Hot has leaderboards. Super Hot has leaderboards, and so it gets IQ heavy. What I mean by that is like it's like chess. You can literally, if so, one level consists of different rounds, and each level is like within a um like a setting an area but each round you spawn in different parts of that level so in part one some guy might throw a gun at you or something and you could throw the gun into the next round and catch it because if you play the next round maybe there's not weapons in the next round and so you like set yourself up faster <laughs> each more and more it's crazy it's so freaking awesome so yeah i'm like super obsessed with it i've got a new channel that's geared for uh vr stuff on youtube and uh i haven't quite put it out there i've just kind of been trickling like here and there with uh with um how you call it unlisted links and stuff like that but yeah, I figured uh, I'm gonna try to stream it and see see how it works. <clears throat> but there is another game called like Agent something. I think that's what you're saying. I have that also installed, and uh, that might be like something else coming up. So yeah, I'm basically backlogging a bunch of content right now until I uh, decide to publicly launch the other channel. Anyway. So that was all four of um, the Heisenberg journey there. And my stream says we're at 40 minutes, so it's taken us about 20 minutes or so because I believe I started the stream and kind of uh, just had like a little starting soon situation going on there. So yeah, that was fun. And uh, we got two minutes until we hit a mass race. And, um, not even. We got about two minutes, yeah. So, what we'll do then is.